years of accordion music. I know. Only get to hear accordion music once a year. Oktoberfest is in full swing at Big Bear Lake this weekend. Aaron Myers is live with the taste of some traditional German fare. Hey. She's all dressed up and looking adorable. Hey, Aaron. The funny thing is, that was the outfit she was going to wear today anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I modernized a little bit. Um, I know, it's sad. But I'm very comfortable and happy to be in this, and the music just makes you want to dance. But let's get to some of the really good stuff. Take a look at this. This piece right here is something you're going to get at Oktoberfest. So I'm going to bring in Monica, who is the woman behind this. Now, I've only been at Oktoberfest once, and I can already tell you guys do something special. Talk to us about, you've been doing this for a long time. What goes into it? We well, have. Yeah, we've been doing this since our 48th year. Um, and I think what goes into it is a true German heart, right? Started by Germans, continued by Germans. It's been a family affair for 48 years. And I, I think Oktoberfest is in our blood. Talking about what we're seeing here, everything smells so good. You are seeing a very typical German fair, Oktoberfest fair. Uh, we've got our sausages, we have Polish, not Polish, and brat. We've got the typical German potato salad and, of course, sauerkraut. And then the German dumplings. Um, in Germany, you can also get the half roasted chicken. And then, of course, for dessert, everyone loves strudel with vanilla sauce. So good. And, of course, with Oktoberfest, we also know you guys will have the beer and the drinks as well. We do. We do. We serve two different types of German beers here. We've got Lorsteiner, and then we've got Polliner, which uh, they both carry about four different flavors. And then, of course, we also have some domestic beers, too. And then tell us a little bit about the activities. We hear the music in the background. They're awesome. Uh, what else are people going to get to experience when they're here? Because this is very authentic. It is very authentic. Uh, we do have contests that guests can enter for free. We have log sign, sign holding. Uh, we also, our queen is selected by how many beer signs she can carry versus maybe how she looks. Um, so there's a lot. And then outside, we have kids' activities. We've got vendors outside. So it's ongoing fun. Okay, so something for the whole family. If you guys want to check it out, we'll put the details up on the screen here at the Big Bear Lake Convention Center. Uh, it is going on all the way through November 3rd, every weekend. You can go to bigbearevents.com for all the details. Uh, and back here live, you can come experience some of this delicious food, which we are going to be eating in just a moment. And coming up in the next hour, we will show you some of those games and how you maybe get crowned queen. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Oktoberfest. How did she say potato? Potato. Have her say it again. Go ahead. Potato. Will you say potato again? Potato. Potato. She said they potato like earlier. Differently. I like potato. Potato. Potato salad. Potato. Oh, okay. Potato salad. It's when you say potato it's salad. Very sweet. Oh, potato salad potato causes salad. the potato. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Aaron. Potato potato. Yeah. A potato potato. Oh. A potato potato. Potato. <laughs> Every but time. guess what? Oh. It is time for... <laughs> All right, yesterday marked the start of the 185th Oktoberfest in Munich, Germany. The 17-day event is a Bavarian tradition that brings some 6 million people to the region wow. every single year. This year, Oktoberfest attendees will pay a little bit more for their beer. Prices are up, apparently, with a two-pint mug costing about 13 bucks and 50 cents. That's a 55-cent increase over last year. Oh. Well... Of course, around the Bullsteins, are, we're going up to Big Bear, and uh, Lynette has a special message this morning for so, her substantial <laughs> German population. <laughs> so, Aaron, when I was, um, I guess in seventh grade, I took German for, like, I don't know, six weeks or seven weeks, and I never forgot it. You know how okay. people go, you know, well, you're not a playa, well, you're not a playa. They, you know, they can speak one yes. sentence in Spanish. My thing yes. I can do in German is eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, you ready? Stand by. Okay, I'm ready. I want to hear this. You said sexy in the middle of that. No, that's six. It's number six. Of course you Eins, zwei, drei. Of course you hear that, Chris. Yes, of course. <laughs> that's my... I, I, I can't forget it, even if I try. That was very good. Thank that you. was very good. I'm impressed. Wow. So, uh, so I did not say that, that, and I don't... Bitte, uh, bitte, you said? You said... You told me what's going on there. Thank you. Danke. And then you say thank you. Danke. Bitte. Bitte. Okay, I, I'm not sure I'm saying it right, but we got the music going on now, guys. It is quite the atmosphere in the festival here. You can see why. We've got a lot happening. I'm going to bring in Monica over here to tell us what we're seeing. 
your shit together and be strong and hold it against your body. And then how cool is it to be queen of October Cup? It is awesome. One of my dreams. My mama was so proud. Oh, if you guys want to come out and get a chance to be the queen of October Cup this year, we'll put the details up on the screen for you. It's going on every weekend until November 3rd. You can go to Big Bear Lake in Big Bear Events. Nope. Take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Too much fun. Oh my god, he's so cute. So much fun. So much fun. Can't look back on you. Oktoberfest isn't just for grown-ups. 
Half Air Myers now with a look at their kid-friendly fun zone. Aaron. Hi, you guys. This is something very unique for an Oktoberfest. I've never seen before a kid zone, and I have some of them up here. Come on down. Come on down, you guys. Let's see. They have this big slide here. And of course, on Oktoberfest, you have to have a chicken. You have to, because the chicken dance is one of those things. And I want to bring in some of the kids who've been helping us out. Have you guys been having fun today? Yeah. yeah. What is the best part about Oktoberfest? Probably being able to dance, because we get to see all our friends and we get to do really fun stuff. And I agree. Stuff. And then tell me about your dress. They're pretty. <laughs> they are pretty. Let's, can we all do a curtsy for them back at the station? We're curtsying. So I will let you guys go have fun now. One of the other things you're going to see over here, uh, they have a mechanical bull. Uh, yes. I don't know if we're going to turn it on. We are Okay, take a look at this, you guys. And I want to bring in Monica, who is the woman behind all this. Monica's going to come run on over. Now, this is a family affair. Tell me what people are going to get to see and do for the next coming weekends out here. Well, the next coming weekends, you know, we have two more German bands rolling in. Um, and so it's going to be a lot more of this. Uh, we've got our outside stage that has activities going on. We've got contests, all the different contests you saw today. Um, and in our kids' area, it's all set up. It's going to be a lot of fun. And why the kids' area? This is such a good idea. And a lot of Oktoberfest don't have something like this. Right, because Oktoberfest is a family affair. Um, it's all about friends and family. You know, we fashion it after old-fashioned um, wedding reception, right? And so we offer a lot of kids' activities because we think kids should be a part of the fun. And I think they definitely should be. Julia, come here real quick. Now, Julia actually watches us on KTLA. We met earlier. What is your favorite thing about Oktoberfest? I don't know, I think it's just like really fun and entertaining and then like you can bring your kids in the day so it's like really fun because there's actually stuff for them to do. Although it's like premiered like uh German beer and stuff like that. So no beer for you. No beer for Julia. Not for me. Not for Julia yet. And then Angelina, come on over here too. Come on over here, girls. What is your favorite part about Oktoberfest? Uh probably the food. I like the food. What's your favorite food? Well, I like the churros, so being oh, honest. It's not really German, but they're churros. You can't go wrong with churros. Yeah, no, but I also like the dumplings. The dumplings are really, really good. And then, Angelina, your favorite? I think meeting the many people. I didn't meet Bailey in real life until I came here, and we're like best friends now. And then the dancing is awesome. I, I never knew I was capable of dancing. Can I get you girls right here to do like a, a can you show us one of the dances real fast? Just impromptu? Let's see. All right, ready? And. Let's see this, and I'm going to try to follow along. Ready? And let's go. Let's try this. Julia, okay. Let's see it. And go. All right, take a look at this, guys. Just some of the things you'll get to see. Family-friendly, kids involved. I love it. You get to dress up if you want. You can enjoy some great food. Uh, we'll put the details up on the screen for you. If you'd like to come check it out, they will be having it here at the Big Bear Convention Center. Uh, until November 3rd, every weekend until November 3rd, BigBearEvents.com for all the info. And then I want to get the kids over here and our lovely chicken. Lovely chicken. All right, girls, ready? On the count of three, we're going to do a happy Oktoberfest and back to you, all right? Ready? One, two, three. Happy Oktoberfest and back to you. Aww. And back to oh, you guys. Love it. So cute. Oh, that's so cute. We love it. Thank you so much, Aaron.